Alright people, welcome back. More Vitamin Y, more of the Cosmic U-Bell, Yang's and U-Bell. You know how it is. We're gonna go ahead and be using this deck. Nice chill day, hopefully. Yeah. Kinda tired. I'm probably gonna go take a nap after this, but I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go ahead and just record some of the videos that I have to record today. So, me too. So, using the Yang Zing, hopefully I can you know, hold it down. I know Yang Zing are getting like some new Synchro monster, so... That's nice. Well, I could go first turn and go for the first turn play, but I think I'll just go ahead and take the duel slow. Got the soul charge, so that's nice. Just go ahead and take the duel slow. Go ahead and put my mouse over this so you can go ahead and MST it. Yeah. Foolish, okay. What deck are you using? One extra deck? What, what possibly uses only one extra deck? Hello? Mally, something with Mally and Plague Spreader, I'm assuming. Alright, Mally, banish Mally. Banish Mally, summon Mally, okay. Seriously, like trying to figure out what the hell you're doing. Yeah. You think something with freaking Mally, it's not maybe Plague Spreader, but one extra deck? Like. Alright, Diamond Dude. Okay. So that goes up the bottom. There you go. Seriously, I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. Wow, he doesn't want to commit to the attack or anything. Alright. Well, of course, like usual, all right, there's ultimate nightmare. It's great. I really can't do anything until my opponent really commits to an attack. So if my opponent doesn't really commit to anything, I can't do anything at all it really does suck that's what, that's one of the things that sucks about freaking yang thing is that if my opponent doesn't commit to anything i can't do anything yeah all right so Diamond Dude will go ahead and get you that search next turn, so that's good. And then there's Tear! Like, this is terrible. This is a terrible situation in which I can't do anything and then I just keep drawing fucking you bells. Like, <laughs> you know it doesn't go to your hand, but whatever. That's not how that works, but if that, <laughs> if that actually makes it easier on you, then sure, whatever. That's not how that works either. You know, you activate one Diamond Dude effect, and then you shuffle, and, and if you don't get it, you shuffle, and then you do. But, but say, you bell? Shit. So flip summon you, flip summon you, take you, crash into him, take 800, summon him, make them, and then put all that fucking back in the deck. Do you have one in the very hard? No. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Because I'm getting real, real sick and tired of just sitting here doing nothing, so fuck it. I'll fucking, I, well, of course I'm getting tired of fucking drawing you bell. I'll go into battle phase. I'll declare an attack. I'll activate this. I will take the 800. I'll go to the grave. Effects. I'll go ahead and summon me. You. And. You. Then. Oh, I can still... What position does it summon? Does it specify? I don't think it specifies. Alright, so what's it say? So it just... Alright, well, then I'll go ahead and just kill you. Then... Uh, main phase 2. I will flip some of you to Sink 8. Driving me fucking crazy. Drawing you bell, 
I'm probably not committing to attack, like, fine. If I gotta fuck myself up, I'll fuck myself up. That's that. Okay. Fine, I didn't want to do it. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. But you made me. You made me. Go ahead. You made me! <laughs> like, seriously. Draw you bell. Draw you bell. Draw you bell. Like, if I draw first form, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. I'm tired of this shit. I'm literally tired of this shit. Number generator. Stop it. Stop. I don't want to draw you bell. Every single episode of I'm and Wise, it's like, hey, you like you bell, like, don't you, in your hand all the time? Yeah? Woo! No. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of this. Like, really. It's like, wow. Can't even do anything with him. I could summon him out of my hand, but then I would just be begging. <laughs> draw you bell? Alright. Let's say, draw you bell? Uh, there ain't much I can do. I can, I mean, just attack, really. Wait a minute, yeah, I can. I can use Baxia effect. Baxia can destroy one, destroy Jiaotu, and then summon. Is it different than monster? I don't know. Um, card you control in one level four or lower. Monster in the graveyard destroy. I target all the field. It could be special from the graveyard or the other monster. So if I go, Baxia effect just destroy, summon you, you'll go off, you'll go off, summon, summon, and yeah, I can continue my place. Cool. I don't know what the fuck I would go into, but I can go, I don't want to go into another, uh, Daxia, at this current moment. Yeah, set, target, Bixie, and Sua. Yeah, Bixie, and Sua. I didn't type Bixie. I just said target and Bixie and Sua. So you're gone. You come back. Effects plural. So we'll go ahead and summon my last G out too, and my last Bixie. Wait a minute. What do you do? I'm trying to some attack position. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It just has to be an attack position. That's fine. I thought it was like I can I had to summon a monster with particular stats. Like no, no, no. I get those mixed up. All right, we're going to sink eight again, and we will go ahead and go into Beals. All right. Backseat attack, Mystic Tomato. Mm -hmm. Yo, Mystic Tomato, summon another Mystic Tomato, summon another Mystic Tomato. And summon Diamond Dude. Okay, well, I'll just kill the Diamond Dude. Deals is 3500 to effect. So, an extra. Ah, well, despite drawing freaking you bell, still it's not going terrible at least, but seriously, it's just like draw it's whatever. Is that what you needed? No. Draw, you freaking tarot card. Is that what you needed? Like, no. He's playing Destiny hands. He's using that Destiny. Destiny draw. Destiny draw again. Uh, Defender wouldn't really do much right now. Both my monsters are stronger than his booty. Polly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nigga, is that Endragoon? Oh, shit! <laughs> Your one extra deck card. Yes, sir. All right, that's fine. Okay, I'm still looking in your extra deck. Oh, shit. He's like, Endragoon! <laughs> All right. All right, your poly's resolved. You good? Oh, get rid of that first. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
effect. I will go ahead and summon of my deck. You can't conduct these battle phase this turn. That's totally fine. Hmm. I should have activated uh uh Chi Wen when he was destroyed. It's okay though. Oh, okay. Well, then the fairies are changing the fairies. So I could just succeed to one to one and take his ass. Yeah, thanks for trolling me. And this will be pretty much the end of the duel unless he has. Unless that's some type of background that makes me feel some type of way. Even then, not much you could do against the fucking Beals. No. My friend Rennie. You guys know Rennie. He plays, uh, uh, Destiny and Dragon deck. But you know, I fucking make Beals so easily with my supervised deck. This is kind of stupid. It's like, nigga, what the fuck are you gonna do against Beals? Lose? <laughs> Okay. Very much. Hopefully I get a Hopefully you commit more. You really didn't commit to anything. Then you're good that's interesting. Okay. Okay. Alright, then if you don't want the rain mouse, they can get one more in and hopefully I won't draw you. Oh no. Oh no, I'm never gonna get it. <laughs> like literally, whenever your Yu-Gi-Oh channel's on, like everybody and their mother just starts hosting. It's like, hey, your Yu-Gi-Oh channel, come here, come here, I wanna suck your dick, come here. <laughs> like niggas, calm the fuck down. Like, oh my god. I said, I wonder if I'll ever be that big where I, where I log on the fucking DN and everybody's fucking hosting. I would need a ton of subscribers. A fucking ass ton of subscribers, like, like maybe like ten, twenty thousand. I wish I had 10, 20,000 subscribers, hello. Wow. All right. Well, this hand's not terrible. It's just not this is the best. I think I run one rota. Yeah. I, won, I run one rota for my one Armageddon Knight. So the number generator won't be generated. So either you're going to give me the rota, or you're going to give me the Armageddon Knight. And this time you're like, hey, here's the rota. So, yeah, you're thinking like, oh, well, he'll open up with two number generator cards. No, it's three. It's three. Rota, I'm only running one Rota in this deck, because I only need one, one Armageddon Knight. You know, but we have Hurt, one, Hemet, one, one, uh, two Dark Holes, one of each two Bell. Yeah. That's literally the reason why it's done like that. Should I set this? The problem with the setting this is if he just spaces me, I'm gonna get spaced, you know? I really wish it was one of my revival cards instead of Tarantal, but alright. Yeah, if it was. If it was like, you know, a Call of the Haunted or a Limitverse, Wasteless, I'd be much happier than, you know, Toronto that I could just get space and I get no thing out of my buck for it. Alright, you gonna summon Kageki. Now I'll turn to you. I want you to go ahead and overextend a little bit. Try to, try to reach for that CN just so I can be like, nope, fuck you. <laughs> He probably has sword technique, but hopefully I'll be able to handle the situation. Yeah, if I summon you bow right now, if I go mask million. But Whew. Yeah, and then you know, you're like, now what you what were you saying about Toronto? What were you saying about Toronto? I, I said nothing about Toronto. Toronto is my friend. <laughs> In that particular situation, Toronto is my friend. Aww. That's annoying. Well, I pretty much run nothing like Dark Ref or something to get this fucking shit out of my hand, so. That's great. Thanks for fucking. Well, I guess we're even. I got Toronto, you got Compulse, so. I guess we're even in that sense. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I take 200. Take... Anything in my bear bear that I want to summon? No, I'll just take it. 1821. Ouch. You can see those two. Alright.
I was about to say, okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I can do. I can go for Armadies. But he's 25. I forgot he was 25. Why did I think I why was I thinking that he's 2000 for some odd reason? I have no idea. Let me draw. For some odd reason I was thinking like, oh yeah, he's only 2000. I'm like, no, he's not. It's much stronger than that. Take the slow, take the double slow, I guess. No, I'm not in a hurry. What do you do? What? Yeah, I'm not just let the chew in and take the double slow. The call of hunted too. Go ahead. All right. I'm not in too dire of a situation. Glad that he drew that this turn and not the last turn, because I know he would have definitely been up. Okay, I'm get my fat. I want lots of Yang Zings in my grave, so if you want to go ahead and continue with your onslaught onto my monsters, then uh, more power to you. Sure. I will go ahead and summon Sua. So this duel, this duel, the, the ending of this duel comes down to this background right here. This one piece of card. Yeah, because I would love to just go ahead and summon and go right into like, you know, like a hot red or something. I could. The only problem is I can easily get fucked up with the back row, but if I get fucked up with the back row, I still got plays. Yeah, I'm still okay. So I'm gonna activate this. Okay. So like I said, it comes down to this piece back right here. Oh, never mind. I'll probably make one on one. I was thinking about making hot red and fucking him up, but now I'm kind of like. <sighs> what do you say? One tuner have one tuner, one or more. One tuner and one or more non tuner warm type monsters. I could go for Baxia. Baxia would be able to balance one card. Yeah. Preferably being that, because Baxia will be stronger than. Uh, both of that. I shuffle back to the deck. Right, I'm guessing it's fine because it's not really responding. Sink row, sink eight. So yeah, I'll go ahead and go into Baxia. Baxia. Okay, okay. That's fine. I'm still 28 though, so it's free to strain. That's fine. Ah. Uh. I know what the hello. What the fuck am I doing? All right. Well, since I can't really attack or do or do anything without committing to play, then about soul charging, summoning those two back, but paying 2,000. We had 19. Uh, X into 101 and uh, take his uh, Xian. And then I'll be even with attack with Grandmaster. So if he wants to crash with the Grandmaster, and I'll still be up on resources. And I can still set the Baxia. Unless I want to absolutely... What do I have in my graveyard? I did not... Did I normal summon this turn? No, I didn't. All right. You, you, and you. Yeah, I can I can, I can, can go for um, another Baxia. I still can't... I can't attack. I can go for another Baxia. Yeah. I have to wait this whole charge. And you. And you. Some of you. Some eight. We'll just go for another fucking Axia. All right, Axia. Fact. Another monster to sink with. Said a fact. I want to get rid of you, you, and you. I really don't give a shit about you. What are you talking about? No. No. I used call hunted.
Remember? You attack, and then at your turn, I summon Suani. And then I would call the hunt and summon Mass Chameleon. Then I synchroed, and then you Phoenix Chain me. Then I Soul Charge, summon those two back. Normal summon, because I did not get my normal summon, sync into another Baxia that you that I'm gonna get that I'm gonna be using. Yeah, you don't remember? Summoned Sua off of your attack. Summoned Masked Chameleon. Oh my god. Chameleon off of all of the haunted. So I did not use my normal summon. And? <laughs> you played five monsters this turn! That's against the rules! And? There's no limit to the amount of monsters I can play. What's your point? At, what's your point? I get one normal summon. I get unlimited special summons. Welcome to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! As long as I can special summon, I can special summon. I use my one normal summon for my summon of Bixie. That's it. I just don't understand what your argument here is. I didn't do anything illegal. Sua and Masked Chameleon. Like, oh my god. Oh. Is it really that difficult to understand? Okay. That's the effect. Return three. One, two, three. Back to that. Free from the chains. Ugh. Turn him back to the extra deck. I can deal with him when I'm good and ready. There we go. I can't attack this turn, which is totally fine. Uh, go ahead. Never mind. Never mind. I was about to say something, but never mind. That's the other. This Bixie's unaffected by traps. This one is affected by traps, but this one isn't. So. He's like, he's like, no, oh, I don't want to set the monster. Okay. Don't set it then. Destroy the bottle. Get, you don't get your effect. And, uh. Plus 500 for Sula effect. Go ahead. And both 28 monsters are unaffected by traps. Ah, uh, you might be fucked, man. You might be fucked. Like I said, I have one piece of back. I did do it, but that soul charge. Soul charge is so fucking busted. <laughs> it's, it let me in this duel. It kept me in this duel. So thank you, soul charge. I probably would have still been okay, but... That play was up. Yeah, I would have still been okay because the Sua is still 28, so it's even it's still stronger than uh, both his monsters he had on the field currently. I can't even play Mass Canadians. That's awesome. Nor can I really use like utilize these cards to end this duel. So let's go ahead and attack. Attack. You can hit him with back row. Plus 500. Perfect. They're both 28. Both are 28. Go ahead. So you got anything off or is that it? Yeah. 
<laughs> you supposed to summon like five? You summon like five monsters, and <laughs> I didn't use my normal summon. I mean, you know, you type of monster. I summoned Suwani off of your attack. I called on to the Mask Chameleon. The Mask Chameleon didn't have any restrictions. You know, he gets the fact that his normal summon can't do anything. I, I didn't you know. There's no restrictions on him. I go ahead, Synchro Summon to the first back, see, so you finish the chain, Soul Charge, Summon those two back, Normal Summon, because I didn't give him Normal Summon, go into another back, see, so yeah, turn three, I didn't conduct my battle phase, you know, just like, you know, what Soul Charge says, and, yeah, so, I don't know, what's up with that guy? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode of I'm and Why, so I hope you people enjoyed this episode, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using, of course, the mighty, the powerful, the awesome, Super Bell with the right cards this time. Alright guys, thanks for watching.